What's up, family? Man, finally made it. You know what I mean? We finally made it to the end of our series on the 12 Universal Laws. Oh, man, today we're talking about the law of gender. The law of gender. Man, like all the other laws, man, again, this law is like the polarities. You know, this law is like, um, man, you got to have both. Stay with me. We're going to go somewhere. What I mean, we got to have both. And the law of gender says that there's both male and female energy. 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 Ah. <laughs> Kitty talk. What's up? Man, um, there's both male and female energy. You know what I mean? Stay with me. We're going somewhere. And so you look at um, the sun and we always, every culture, every ancient culture has always looked at the sun as a masculine energy. There's masculine energy in the sun. And when we look at the moon, we've always associated the moon as the mom, as female, as feminine energy. You have to have both male and fem female. Okay. I know we live in a generation where there's, I have no clue how many genders there are. You know what I mean? I have no idea. I don't even try to keep up. I don't care. Okay. But for the sake of talking about these laws, there's two, two genders, you know what I mean? For the sake of the 12 laws, man, y'all could get mad, unsubscribe, whatever, man. But for the sake of the 12 laws of the universe, there are only two genders, male and female, okay? And again, going back to the sun, the sun, bronze, goldish colors, that color, that energy is always associated with masculine energy. I've talked about this quite a bit in some of the other videos, some of the older videos about the metals, you know, um, gold, um, copper, brass, rose gold. Those are associated with masculine energy. They have male energy within it. Okay. Your, your feminine, feminine energy, um, silver, um, titanium, um, I can't even think of the other one now. Um, anything of that white gold or anything of that color, that's associated platinum. That's associated with female energy. If you see me, man, I'm always wearing white or white gold or silver. Why? Because I have natural masculine energy. A lot of it. Strong, <laughs> strong male energy just within myself. And so I had to learn that, man, I couldn't wear a lot of gold. I had to wear silver, things of that color, to, man, to balance me out, to bring me back into balance. So I didn't become so far on this pendulum, so far gone in the spectrum of just being male, um, male dominant, if, if that makes sense, as far as the energy, okay? We, life is all about living within balance. Again, when you look at the yin yang, the yin yang is all about balance. Male, female, dark, light, whatever you want to call it, it's balance. It's always within balance. Okay? So if you're a female and you have strong feminine energy, then man, you need to rock some um, gold, some copper, some brass to balance you out. Okay? There's a lot of stuff that we're consuming now um, from bottled water and everything else, you know, that is naturally changing our structure. You know, it's making females a lot more masculine. It's making dudes a lot more feminine. Okay. And so you have to understand what you're consuming and what it's doing to you. And so if you're a female, you have strong, natural male energy, masculine energy. Then, man, you need to rock some, um, some silver, some white gold, some platinum, if you can afford it. Things of that nature to balance your energy out. Okay, man, again, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So many of us, we're talking about the law of gender. So many of us, we live a chaotic, fucked up, twisted life. And we don't even realize or understand how chaotic and twisted it is. We don't understand now. Why is it that I'm just 
I'm just like all over the place. I'm stressed out. I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. And there's nothing going wrong, but I just don't feel right. I just don't feel good. I just don't, just something's just wrong. And I can't put my fingers on it. Something's wrong. And I can't understand it. And we'll do do because we don't understand that, man, maybe it's your energy. It ain't no maybe to it. Your energy's fucked up. And it is what it is. You're in violation of one of the 12 universal laws. And a lot of times we're in violation of the law of gender. We're in violation of this law because our energy, our feminine energy and our masculine energy is too far to one way. And we need to bring it back to balance. And when you bring it back to balance, it's like, okay. Oh, Usa, I'm good in this area. I'm balanced in this area. I'm not an emotional fucking wreck. Or I'm not so distant and hard and just not giving a fuck. It will do, do. Man, it's just a trip that we associate, you know, um, being nurturing and loving and compassionate and giving and da 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 da. All this. We, nur- we, we associate that with feminine energy. And we associate being distant and hard and, and callous and disconnected. Masculine energy. We look at Mother Nature and, and we say, man, nature is, is a mother. She has to be female, has to be feminine energy. Man, she's giving and she's birthing and she's nurturing and she's providing and da 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 da. And she's doing all these things. And then we say that the sun, so far away, it provides what fathers do, supposed to do. Is be the provider. But mothers are supposed to be nurturing and caring and attentive and da 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 da. Mothers give birth and care for the young and da 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 da. And so, one of the things that I had to realize, look at my eyelash, my eye. One of the things I had to realize when I spent nine years as a single father of two was that, damn, I can't keep just thinking like a man. I can't keep functioning just like a man. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. And what I meant by that is, okay, I have to be attentive to my daughter, my my oldest child is my daughter. And it's like I had to, okay, what would her mom, what would a good mom do? What would a good, because man, all they had was me. I'm the only person in their life. I was the only person in their life. And they were like babies. What would a good, loving, nurturing mom do? How would they react? How would they respond to this? What would they say? If my mama was here and my mama saw my kids doing this, 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 that. What would I hope that my mama would say? How would I hope my mama would respond? I know the dad make me man, man beat they fucking ass. You know what I mean? Simple as that. In the conversation, beat they motherfucking ass. They won't do that shit again. You know what I mean? And that was my reaction a lot. But then I had to grow up and I had to understand that, man, dude, pump your brakes. That's your masculine energy talking. That's all you know. Because you're out of balance. Because you don't have that female energy, that female counterpart right there with you. And see, that's the importance of picking your queen or your king. And making sure that, man, their energy is right for you. Not just the sex. But is their energy right for you? Were you weak? Are they strong? And I'm not just talking about the money matters. I'm not talking about just physical. Do you guys balance each other out? 
Do you guys complete each other? Do you fulfill each other? Again, going back to the yin yang. In order for you to get this full circle, both light and dark, female and male, have to balance each other out. They have to complement each other. They have to fulfill each other. The law of gender. This is the law of gender. This is the law of polarities. The law of harmony or rhythm. We have to grow up. We have to understand that, man, when I look at my spouse or my partner, I have to look at something, a lot more things other than just, man, are they good looking? Do they have a job? Do they have a place to stay? Are they religious? Are they spiritual? The real question is, do they know who they are? Do they know their purpose? Do they know why they're here? Do they know why they're in your life? Do you know why you're in their life? Can you balance each other out? Can you help each other reach their full potential? Can you help each other be all that you came here to be? This has not been homophobic. This is or anything of that nature against homosexual. I mean, I don't give a damn about none of that shit. You know what I mean? I don't. So we stay on. Your energies have to be able to balance each other out. Your energies have to be able to fulfill each other. And most of us don't understand that. Most of us think it's financial. Most of us think it's sex. Most of us think it's, man, we got kids and we got responsibilities. And then we don't understand why our relationships fail. Then we're looking at each other like, what the fuck happened? What went wrong? Somebody or both parties didn't understand their full purpose. Somebody or both parties didn't understand the energetic connection and the vibration and the frequency that both parties are supposed to be operating on. Somebody or both parties wasn't protecting their energy. And their energy drifted away. And what I mean, the energy drifted away. They wasn't mindful of what they were entertaining. And they got caught up in some drama, some bullshit, some negativity. And brought it home. And it disrupted the connection. It disrupted the union. The law of gender, again, we're talking about balance. If I care about you, if I'm here to fulfill you, if I'm here to help you reach your full potential, then I have to be mindful of what I entertain. I have to be mindful of what I allow to get attached to me so I don't bring it home to you. So I don't allow it to fuck up what we have, the connection we have balance that we have because it's not about just me because I'm intimately connected to you you balance me and I balance you but if only you're meditating if only you're doing what you're supposed to do your shadow work and soul work and do that and I'm not doing any of that and I'm entertaining stupid ass shit I'm now bringing something else into the mix 
That's going to fuck up our harmony. That's going to fuck up our connection. Our balance. Man, I hope and pray that this series has been eye-opening to you, has showed you something. Um, it could have got a whole lot more deep, um, but that's not what this channel is about as far as just trying to be deep. This channel is about, man, using everyday life problems, situations to help us grow, to help us understand, man, it's not just me. You know what I mean? Man, ah, I get it now. That aha moment. And just having teachable moments with everyday life problems. Everyday life issues. And so I try to take the 12 laws of the universe and apply them to life. Real life, our life, our issues, our drama, our chaos, our negativity. When your life has been fucked up or you feel like things are out of sort or whatever the case may be, man, may you look back on one of these videos. May they bless you. May they encourage you. May they inspire you. May they challenge your way of thinking, your belief system. We have to grow up. Man, you have to understand how the 12 laws of the universe apply to each and every aspect of your life. And when you don't do that, you are now living in violation of one of the laws. And when you live in violation of one of the laws, you're going to pay the price for that. Your life is going to get fucked up. You're going to go through some shit emotionally, financially, and everything else. Why? Because the universe is trying to get your attention. To get you to understand that you're living in violation. Because ignorance of the law is no excuse. Man, I love you guys. I thank you for riding with me. I thank you for rocking out with me. Namaste. Happy healing. Peace.